The first place that we'll talk about is a technological facelift, which will be the very first thing that you notice within Metasoft in version 16. The thing looks different. It, uh, all I can say is that when you compare it to what it used to look like, it's about time. Metasoft hadn't changed the look for almost eight years. In computer t terms, eight years is almost a century. The program did not look like any of the other programs that are running on modern systems. It, it almost looked as bad as a DOS system up there on the screen. And Metasoft was in real need of a, a new look and feel. So we'll talk a little bit about that. The first thing that we wanted to do within Metasoft is give it a brighter look. There was a whole lot of gray that was on the Metasoft program. It looked old. It, it really didn't fit with the other programs that were there. It's, it, it, it's a dated look. So we wanted to really brighten the way that Metasoft looked. The other thing that we wanted to do is make sure that Metasoft 16 utilized the hardware that you could buy today. There's a lot of situations where you need to go out and buy a new computer, and we firmly believe that Metasoft needs to be supported on the so hardware that you go and buy today. In the past, we have done an absolutely horrible job in certifying new operating systems as they come out. We have generally been about two or three years behind the curve in, in supporting those operating systems. Uh, one example of that is 2008 server. When did we certify for that? Anyone know? This year. It's 2010. So uh, with Metasoft version 16, we will support Windows 2008 server if you go out and get a new server, but we decided we don't want to be the two year behind the curve uh, company anymore, and we actually went ahead and certified on Windows 7. So we are going to work with Metasoft version 16 on Windows 7, so if you need to go out and get new hardware to replace your aging hardware and in improve the efficiencies of your office, you can do that. Another change that we have with the, the facelift that Metasoft underwent this year was the allowance of customization within office hours. How many of you have customized your toolbars up at the top of Metasoft? Has anybody? About four of you? Those whose hands work went up, so four people, I'll translate that to about 12 of you actually have done it. The customization is available in office hours now as well. If you remember back to version 15 and earlier, you could not change the way that office hours was laid out up at the top. It was only limited to your Metasoft program. Our new facelift and the new components that we have will allow that over in office hours as well. Our other main goal that we had with our facelift was to ensure that we maintained the workflow that you're used to. How many of you have all of your clicks memorized that you do throughout the day and you have your hotkeys? And who's seen Meet the Parents? Has anybody seen Meet the Parents? There's the airline scene where he goes and he's, and she's like, just a moment, and she's sitting there pounding away on her keyboard. That's all of you, right? You have everything memorized and you are five keystrokes at least ahead of what the screen is doing. We wanted to make sure that we didn't kill you when we completely redid the Metasoft program. So we gave it a new look while maintaining the workflow and the, the structure that you have had before. Overall, all of the hotkeys are going to work the way that they did before and your structure and your flow will be identical to what you had before. And we gave you the new look. So we wanted to get the best of both worlds and that was our goal as we went about doing this. So let's take a look at what Metasoft looks like now. Right up here we have Metasoft version 16. As you can see, the icons up along the top are completely different. The toolbar is not gray. It has a gradient of blue and white. And we have the transaction entry screen up there on the screen right now. I wanted to show you transaction entry because that's the screen that most of you spend almost all of your time in. And I wanted you to see that the screen itself really does look like it used to, other than some new changes to the icons that are down there on the bottom. The, the hotkeys are all going to be the same. You'll have the exact same functionality that you had before. These new icons, if you shrink them down to the size of the old icons, on uh, one, they look really tiny and you don't get the same detail that pops out of them as you normally would on a larger sized icon. These icons are also going to look a lot better on a flat panel monitor. 
So we, we went with icons that really optimized the, the new hardware that people are going out and buying. So if you're using a, a high definition monitor, you'll really be able to see the differences in the icons. I will also throw out there the caveat that not every icon is going to look exactly like what you think that it should look like for that particular item. Picking those icons was the worst job that I have ever had in my life. I did not get to just say, go draw a picture of a claim up there and have that be my icon. They said, okay, here's this big library of icons and you get to figure out what is claim management out of this library of icons. And I'm looking at it and there's about 40,000 icons in there. And I looked and there wasn't a claim. There's 40,000 icons and there's not a claim. All right, this one looks pretty close. We're going to go with it. I, so if you happen to not like the icons, use the hotkeys. You'll be fine. I promise. <laughs>